Hi everybody, welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, we're looking at starting the game off play call Super Bowl. We got two great play callers, Andy Reid, Kyle Shanahan. Today, we're gonna look at what they've done in the Super Bowl in the past. Now, I wanted to do both of them. Unfortunately, can't get a hold of the Super Bowl with the Eagles and Patriots to see what Andy Reid started that game off with play calling wise. But maybe this could be a little insight into maybe some prop bets, maybe just some interesting anecdotes to see exactly what they're used to doing now granted it's a very small sample size but we're going to look at the falcons patriots super bowl see exactly how they started that game off because i think there are some indicators even though it's just one game even though it's a small sample size i think you get to see this element of they are who they are and they want it's in their best interest to start a game this really important meaningful game being who you are now, I know that there's also this huge opportunity because the 49ers have been so good at running the ball that there are going to be some shot opportunities down the field, play action, and are they going to do it? Well, what did they do in that Super Bowl when he was with the Falcons calling plays? Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. So if you dig this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, get the notifications when we go live, we're going live soon, when we put out new content. Again, I really appreciate the support for the channel. All right, so to start this Super Bowl off, the Falcons went basically toss crack. Now they were backed up a little bit, but this is a huge run to start a Super Bowl. They kicked off, Patriots punted, pinned them back deep, but they come out on a play that they obviously love. Now, not going to spend a whole lot of time on the schemes, but I do think it's interesting. You see a bunch of similar things. We see the 49ers now toss crack. We see them run all sorts of runs, but this is just going to be a pin by number 12 right here. Tackles coming around, just old school toss crack. Missed two tackles on the back end from the Patriots. But again, conservative play calling to start. You're backed up. Toss is not totally conservative on the goal line because there's a chance for a negative play. But again, First play of the game, get into what you are. Second play of the game, they come back with toss again. Now you almost feel like they're trying to say something like, hey, we found a weakness on the edge. This is who we are. We're going to run the ball like this. We're going to come out, create an identity, create a tempo of the game. And they run the same play. This is the same play back to back to start a Super Bowl. Toss crack. Now it's not identical, but it's identical enough. It, the intent of that thing is toss crack, toss crack. Now we come back the for a second down. And we're going to be, we're going to take a shot. Got a big play receiver down here. Julio Jones at the bottom of the screen. He's getting doubled. What are they going to do? You're going to be aggressive. Uh, we're going to come out and throw a flat. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, by any means, this is why you lose a game. But it's just an idea to get the mindset. It's conservative. We're running the ball. We're coming out. We're throwing flats. We're throwing essentially a check down. This right here, you don't know the intent of the play, whether it was to take a shot to Julio Jones if he's not double teamed. But he's double teamed. They come out. He's working right. Flat drops off. Patrick Chung makes up, comes up, makes a nice tackle. Now it's first third down of the game. What are we going to do? We're going to shift the running back out, do a little double shift. And we see the 49ers do variations of this all over the place. Put use check out wide. Put the running backs out wide. So we got Julio Jones down here at the number two to the bottom of the screen. Let's see if I can pause it here. So play wise here, we got Julio Jones right here. Here's your big time playmaker. They shift it out, or they shift it over, I should say. Shift the tight end over here. Shift the back out wide. See that all the time. Really easy to see the coverage here. Middle field closed. Bump man defensively across the board. What they're running here is just old school West Coast stick. Right here, a little stick play. We're going to get into the flat. We're going to get it clear by the number one. And the intent of this thing is to come right here and throw this thing to a stick for a first down. Third medium on the back side of this, you have oftentimes it's called the lion or double slant or double indie. Depending on what the variation is, it looks like this is a little bit more indie. Could be slant, come back here. So really the read here is stick one, this kind of stick flat combination one. Then we're going to come back side two, three. End up taking a sack here. But I think the most important thing for, the, for this audience and for this community is to see the play calling. Conservative. We're calling stick. We're hitting a flat. We're throwing toss sweep. Now again, they jack up Julio Jones here. And to me, they're doubling him. This is the old Belichick special. Double the stars. Put two on the stars right here. Start a Super Bowl off. But again, no to the flat. Maybe to, maybe could have got to the flat. Probably going to get tackled for a fourth down though. Again, ball comes out. Not a fumble. But it is a sack. And it shows to me more than anything else 
what the intent of kind of starting this game off with. They hit him with a huge toss crack. They obviously thought that they had him. Then on the first third down of the game, they go empty. Trying to get the ball to their best player. Great. Everything is good. Come out, gets Jack double teamed right here. We got to have a plan to come back to the right side. 12 right there on the in. Maybe comes off of him a little early. He's probably already on three. He goes one, no, two, no, three, no, and he's down. Now we're punting. So for me, this is just a small indication of what we can expect. At least what the evidence has shown that this is what Kyle Shanahan starts Super Bowls like. This is when he's got to have it, meaningful games. They're going to be who they are and they want to run the ball, be a little conservative, get into the concepts that they know really well, that they can get some completions maybe, feel good about themselves. Obviously, it didn't work out perfectly right here, but you can see that they obviously really like to toss crack. Come out two times in a row, same play back to back, different formations, maybe different personnel. Come out to throw the ball, conservative to start. I'm telling you, it's guaranteed that the Chiefs have watched this. They absolutely know that this is how they've started in the past. Now, it doesn't mean that he's for sure going to do that again as the 49er head coach, but there's a track record. It's his comfort zone. It's, it, all, it is what they are to a certain degree as I jack up the syntax there and the, and the conjugation of the verb. But this is what they are. This is who he is as a play caller. This is his roots in kind of zone scheme, in the run game, in the West Coast terminology, and being able to get the ball out of your hands from a quarterback-friendly pass game. And so do I think that there will be opportunities to sh take shots down the field? Absolutely. Now, are they going to flip the script and do that right out the gate in the Super Bowl? Maybe, but I think the percentages and the evidence and the track record says they're going to play to who they are. They're going to find ways to out-scheme you, run the ball, get on the edge, get in those zone concepts, and get downhill as fast as possible, be a little conservative, and live to fight another day, and be who they are, I think, is the essence of it. That was the thing that came back to me. So I did think it was interesting, almost fascinating, that they ran the same play back-to-back, -back, first and second play of the Super Bowl. But then the passing game-wise, a little underwhelmed, conservative, throwing flats, get, taking a sack early, getting into really what I would consider simpler schemes as opposed to having something exotic lined up dialed up that you're really excited to run and maybe they did later in the game they obviously got out to a huge lead but i think just the start of the game slow conservative safe being able to get try to get into the rhythm even though it didn't so hopefully you enjoyed the video let me know what you think thanks for watching